On first and 15. Harris gets out of that trouble and puts himself in some more. Picked off by Dakota Dixon. And flags go flying. And players come together now. I think Josh Boutte was involved. I count four or five yellow hankies on the field and a whole lot of celebration in red. Well, that's a frustration reaction from LSU players. We've seen it so many times. Brandon Harris on the cusp of doing something to get his team to win, and he just gives it away. Threw it right to him. Made a great play in the backfield to get open and free to throw the football, but sometimes you just wonder what he's looking at. Throws it right to the Wisconsin defender. And LSU has one timeout left. After the play, personal foul, flagrant personal foul. LSU number 76. A 15 yard penalty will be added to the end of the line. Number 76 is disqualified. That's Josh Butte. Take a look at the play here. You're going to see it's great pressure on the inside, which makes Brandon Harris escape. But once he escapes, you just, you just got to be smart with the football. It gets away from Beagle, and I, I don't, I, I can't tell you where he's throwing that ball. It's almost like in the in the backfield he gets impulsive. He gets away from one guy, and he's like, I got an impulse. I got to get rid of this football, and I'm just going to throw it. I don't know where. It's